not sure if I ever mentioned it on this channel, but I was and I still am a big fan of Hilobrachis genus, or as Americans like to pronounce it, Kilobrachis. The biggest reason for that is Hilobrachis Huahini, this girl here. It was my first Old World Tarantula. And it was Tarantula that showed me what Old World Tarantulas can do. Not just Old World, but what exactly Tarantulas are capable of. And this is her enclosure. I think it was my first, probably my first natural setup. And you see, it looks really nice. This setup is around two and a half years old and still holds very nicely. This is real log from forest. And this dirt behind is actually real dirt. I just let it dry and since then it still holds its form. The reason why I love this species it was really feisty from the beginning and it webbed so much. Now it is not that much when you compare it with Romatopelma ciana pubescens, the green bottle blue. They web much, much more and also the OBTs, they are also heavy webbers. But if you compare it to Gramostola rosea, then you know the obvious difference. I will try to feed her, but I'm not sure if she will take it because I fed her two days ago. Just a second. Let's see if she will take it. Finally. So yeah, that was my very first Old World Tarantula and the first rehouse of her. That was such an epic fail. I didn't really prepare as I should and I was not really experienced at that time and she really punished that. In the end everything worked out but it was really intense rehouse. And here behind you can see I have this hole where I can watch her but she covered it all in web so it's not really visible. I can only use it to check if she molted or not. I also had a, I also had a Hilobrachis fimbriatus, but she died and actually she is still in my fridge. Here she is, still frozen in time. Eventually I will do a taxidermy of her, so she is waiting dead. And I was really sad when she died because I really liked her really pretty tarantula and I didn't know what's the cause of her death. One day I just found her in dead curl. As you see, she was really fat, she wasn't dehydrated, she ate well, I don't know, she just, she just died. But at least I preserved her like this. So soon, taxidermy video. And the last female that I have is Hilobrahi species Vietnam Blue. I already featured her in a few of my videos, so you probably saw her. But let's try to feed her anyway. Oh, the roach. The roach fell for my tweezers. Damn. You can see her legs down there. So by now you must be wondering why the hell am I showing you this tarantulas? Specifically this genus of tarantulas. There's a reason. Maybe you already noticed there's a package on the table. This package. Are you interested what's inside? The title of the video is My Dream Tarantula. And when we talk about Hilobrachis genus, there is actually one, one species, not yet described, that would be considered a dream tarantula.
Any idea which one would it be? I was drawing over these pieces when I first saw it, before it even entered the hobby. When pictures of it started floating the, the Tarantula forums and Facebook groups, I was really drawing over it. And I was convinced that I will get it as soon as it becomes available. Apparently that never happened. It wasn't really that expensive when it came out. But, it's, but it was still expensive enough that, that I had to choose if I want one really expensive sling that I really want or a bunch of other less expensive slings that I also really want. And since my tarantula budget was always kind of low, I always ended up buying a bunch of other species that are less, less expensive, cheaper, right? And eventually my hype for these species kind of went down. I knew that I will eventually get it, but I didn't really try to get it. So yeah, it is, as you probably already know, Kilobrahi species electric blue. I can already see it through the top lid. I can see the tiny legs. I need substrate and other enclosure, right? Now the, the funny story how I, how I actually got it. The guy from Spiders World from Poland, they were the one that were sponsoring the European giveaway. His name is Jaroslav and he contacted me asking me if I have Hilobrahi species electric view. View. Blue. Of course I said no, but I plan to get it eventually. And I was expecting that he will maybe give me some, some cheaper offer or something like that. But actually he offered me to send it for free. He likes what I do and a bunch of people that ordered from them said that they found them through my videos, so this is a little thank you from them. Awesome, right? Awesome. This little guy is active, I can see. Let's prepare his enclosure. Burrowing species, so just cocoa fiber with some pre-made hole, kinda. Now I hope that he won't bolt out. He actually bolted down, whoa. Don't go outside. <laughs> it went back down. It is really tiny. Let's get it in other cup so I can show it more. Oh, it is bolty. So just just a tiny sling. Can I see the coloration? No, not really. I guess it's still too small. In the hole you go. squished it between the lid if he really wants to go out that would be really retarded right <laughs> there it is I'm tiny bit concerned regarding these holes I mean they are small but it is also really small just in case I will put uh, some tape on those holes and punch smaller holes just in case. I wanted this species for such a long time and now it's finally here. So awesome. Once again, Yaroslav, thank you. Thank you. And to all others, if you are from Europe, check out Spider's World if you need to buy a tarantula. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday, so see you again soon. Bye!